So, you want to learn how to make a YouTube video. <laughs> well, today I'm going to show you exactly how. Step one, make a YouTube channel. That was so cool. Now that part should be fairly easy. Everyone that has a Google account or has the YouTube app downloaded and is signed in definitely already has a YouTube account. If you don't, you can just go on Google and type in how to make a YouTube channel, you know what I'm saying? But you know, chances are you already have one. Step two. You need a recording device to capture all your cool stunts. That was terrible. I thought it looked a whole lot cooler in my head. So your recording device can be anything like a super expensive camera, uh, iPhone, iPhones are pretty good, uh, uh, Android, an iPod, a tablet, whatever you have that can take video. It's pretty simple, you probably already have one. Now you don't need to buy a really expensive camera, you just need a camera that's good enough where people are able to see what you're doing. Now I'm not the best cameraman or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? But I at least try to make sure I'm shooting some decent quality footage. Some of my old videos were really bad, you know what I'm saying? You can go back and watch them to see. But now I think I'm, I'm getting better. I'm not the best, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Hmm. Maybe that's the sign. Step three. You need a good video editor. Personally, I've been using DaVinci Resolve for like the past year. That's the only one I could find for Windows PCs that's actually free, you know. I'm not balling like that, so I don't have Adobe Premiere or none of that. And you probably won't ever catch me using a MacBook because, well... Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, um, mainly the type of edits I do are just cuts. Here and there I'll add some pictures and stuff like that. And I've been playing around sometimes and I add like some filters. Like in my last how to do TikTok dance videos. I did a little filter there, you, you know, go watch, go peep, you know what I'm saying? Um, but it all depends on the type of video you're making. If you want to make a high quality video, usually like Steezy Kane or Sneeko, you know what I'm saying? Shout out. <laughs> you probably need to do a whole lot more. I Me, mean, I just do basic cuts. Uh, also, you definitely need a good computer and a decent graphics card if you're rocking a Windows computer. I have a 16 gigabyte RAM laptop that's running NVIDIA GTX 1050, I believe. Um, that's, that's pretty decent for running DaVinci Resolve. The only problems I ever really come to in editing is when I want to add like some really heavy effects and I just can't see it in the editor. The only way I can see it is after I render so that's not really good for me. I need a better computer. I want to be able to see the edits before I render because rendering takes a long time depending on how much edits you put in the video. If you're on Mac, sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Usually you guys have pretty decent computers for editing. That's probably what every YouTuber is using, like a MacBook, based on what I see on the internet, you know? They're like, oh, use, not iMovie, but I don't know, whatever they use on Apple. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll probably just put it down in the caption right here and let y'all know what it is later. But yeah, I'm not buying a MacBook. <laughs> Number four, one of the last things you're going to need when you're making a video for YouTube is a photo editor. You need a photo editor for thumbnails. You could use Photoshop, which is probably one of the, you know, most, it's not even probably, which is definitely one of the most used photo editors, but you have some like Canva and yeah, I only know Canva, but I'm pretty sure you can Google search photo editors. I use Photoshop because, well, I've used Canva before and Photoshop just has a whole lot more features to use. The one I like the most in Photoshop is the selection tool. Now, my thumbnails aren't banging, you know what I'm saying? I'm still learning. 
And if you're still learning, I'm going to put a playlist down below of some Photoshop tips that I use so I can make some of my thumbnails. I'm still trying to figure out how to make thumbnails pop. I'm not the most creative person, but thumbnails are definitely important and Adobe Photoshop is probably the way to go if you want to work with thumbnails. Number five, the last and final part of making a YouTube video is uploading it. So once you're on YouTube.com on your laptop, all you need to do is go to the top right, click on your channel logo, go to YouTube Studio, and once you're on YouTube Studio, you'll be in your dashboard where you see all your videos, all the information on your recent videos, your top performing videos, and then on the top right again, you'll see a create button, and right there you go and click upload video, you select the video you want to upload, and then you're finished. You successfully uploaded your first YouTube video. Anyways, the edits on this video got a little lazy. I ended up making the video in two days rather than one. And so I stopped changing locations and I just decided to do it all in my room. Do the final part in my room and show you guys how to do everything on my laptop. As always, if you made it this far, thanks for watching and peace out.